Hello students, we're gonna go over section 2.5, creating and solving compound inequalities. Uh, first thing to point out is uh, we will use the greater than sign, so this is greater than, and the less than sign, so this is greater than, and the less than sign. If we use those, we're gonna use an open dot when we go to graph. If it's equal to, so if it has a line underneath, then it's gonna be a closed dot. So when we go to solve compound inequality, compound means two or more inequalities. We're going to be solving two of them. Uh, what I do is draw our two lines like we normally would. Now, if I look on this first line, this line on the left-hand side, um, I'll make a different color. So we'll look at this green line here. Okay, We're going to look at what's on the left-hand side, which is four. So we'd say four. And then what's on the right-hand side going to the other inequality, which is so we had less than or equal to x plus 2. So we'd write one inequality there, and then we go to the other one, the blue line, and what's on the left-hand side is this x plus 2. So we'd say x plus 2 is less than or equal to what's on this right-hand side of 8. And now we go ahead and solve each inequality. So when we go to solve, we go draw our line. To move that 2, we subtract it. And so we have 2 is less than or equal to x and come over to this right-hand side, and draw our line, again, subtract the 2, in this case, to get x by itself, and x is less than or equal to 6. So then we draw our number line, and we're going from 2 to 6, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going 2 to 6, and if I look at this green one, uh, and it has an equal to sign, so it's going to be a closed dot at 2. And then it says x is greater than, so it's open to the x, so we'd say x is greater than. Greater than is to the right. Then we come over here to the blue side, and we have x, again, uh, we have the equal to sign underneath there, so it's going to be a closed dot. And then it says x is less than 6, less than is to the left. Come down here, I do the same thing, draw my two lines, so I have negative 5 and 2x plus 3, so negative 5 is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. And then I draw my other line, and again I have 2x plus 3 is less than, and then on the right-hand side is 9. So that's what I do every time is draw it, and uh, what's on the left-hand side of the inequality and the right-hand side. Draw our line, so we'd subtract 3 here. Cancels off. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8, less than or equal to 2x. Then divide by 2, and we'd have negative 4 is less than or equal to x. Come over here, draw our line, minus 3, cancels. So then we have 2x is less than 9 minus 3 is 6. Then divide by 2, x is less than 3. So then we go ahead, draw our line. We're going from negative 4 to 3, so negative 4. Okay, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, and then 1, 2, 3. So when I go to negative 4, it's equal to, so that's a closed dot. It says x is greater than, again, it's open to the x, so it's greater than. Greater than is to the right. I go to the 3, I look at it, it's not equal to, so that's going to be an open dot. It says x, the points at it, the little part, so it's less than, less than is to the left. We'll go through uh, one more of these. I'll choose B to go through. But again, I would draw my line right through there. So everything to the left of it, so that's negative 10, less than. To the right of it, 3x plus 2. I'm going to stop when I come to that equal sign. And then if I come to here, draw my line, everything to the left of it, to it is 3x plus 2. And to the right of it is 8. And then we can go ahead and solve for both of these. Draw our line. So I'm going to subtract 2. Negative 10 minus 2 is negative 12, which is less than 3x. Divide by 3. And negative 4. And we'd say x is greater than negative 4. Come here, do the same thing. Subtract 2. So that cancels. 3x is less than or equal to 6. Divide by 3. And x is less than or equal to 2. So then we can go ahead and draw our line underneath there. 
Again, I'm at negative four. Three, two, one, zero. One, two. Okay, we go to the negative four. It's not equal to, so it's gonna be an open dot. It says X is greater than. It's open to it, so X is greater than. Go to the two. Um, two is gonna be a closed dot. It says X is smaller, less than. The point's at it, so it's a less than. So that's what you're gonna be doing um, as you work through this. Now, when you come to the word or, or just means um, the same thing, compound. When we have or, they're gonna be going away from each other. So if you looked at these graphs, they were all pointing to each other. These ones are gonna go away from it. So you would just solve it like you normally would. Draw your line here. To get rid of that negative four, I'd add four. So I have x is greater than five. One plus four is five. Or, draw my line, I would add this four. And we'd say x is less than negative three plus four is one. So then we go ahead, draw our line. One, two, three, four, five. So we go to the uh, five and it's an open dot because it's not equal to, so we'd say this. And then it says x, it's open to five, so we'd say greater than, greater than points to the right. Go to one, open dot on that. X, little point at it, less than one, less than is to the left. And so that's how you go through and solve um, those ones. I'll give you one more example here. We'll go to this one down here. So I draw my line. So we add the one here. So that cancels. 4x is less than 15 plus 1 is 16. Divide by 4. And x is less than 4. Come over on this side. Draw the line. Divide by 8. X is greater than or equal to six. So then we draw our line down here and we could go four, five, six. If you wanted to, you could add more points, but you don't need to. And then we say, okay, it's at four. Open dot, because it's not equal to. X is less than. Then we come here, X is at six. It's a closed dot, because it's equal to. X is greater than. So anytime you see the or, they're going to be going in opposite directions. And then we come and write inequalities, the last two things. So if I look at it, so I go negative 1. So it's obviously at negative 1. I use my x okay, for this one. It's a closed dot, so I know it's going to be equal to. And then if I look at it, it's pointing to the left. If it's left, then it's less than. I come to the 7, x. Now they're going away from each other, so I know it's going to be or in the middle. Now I look at it, again, it's a closed dot here, so I'm going to put an equal to sign. It's pointing, uh, I'm starting at 7, so I'll put a 7 here. And then it's going to the right, that arrow is going to the right, so it's greater than. So we'd say x is greater than that. Now look at this one, it's a closed dot, so I know I have this, start with x always. Okay, now it's, if I look at it, this dark line is going to the right, so I know it's greater than, and then 0. And then we come over here, we have our x. It's an open dot, so I know it's not going to be equal to. It's at 6 here. Now if I look at, here's my point here. That line is to the left of it, so that means it's less than that. And so you could write that way. If they're pointing at, then you'd say and. If they're pointing to each other, it's and. Or you could write it this way, 0. x is greater than or equal to 0, which is less than 6. So you could write it either way. Um, we'll go through uh, last one, number two. So that's an open dot. So I have x is uh, it's compared to negative four, and it's pointing. From that point, it's going to the left. Left is less than. So we go x is less than, or because they're pointing away from each other. Close dot, so it's going to be equal to. It's from this point here, it's going to the right, so that's greater than. And then we're starting at two. So you'd write it that way. Last thing is just... Um, Writing it for um, uh, uh, kind of, uh, we're going to write an inequality for this, um, for these type of examples. Inclusive means we're going to include it. Okay, so we have 7.2 and 7.6. One thing that I like to do is it says it's in between. Okay, so some number, all it has to do is be in between these two values. It's inclusive, so I know they're both going to be equal. 
Okay, so if it's going to be in, in between these two numbers, then it needs to be bigger than 7.2, and it needs to be less than 7.6. Again, you have the same thing. Is it's uh, the, the chlorine level in the swimming pool is between 1.0 and 3.0. So I always go, it's in between those two. It's inclusive. Inclusive means they're go both going to be equal to. And then again, if it's in between, it needs to be bigger than one and less than three. So that's our lesson for uh, compound inequalities for today.